I, I think that's one of the things that we can't uh, overstate is that uh, I've heard it called um, uh, rule by defaults. And, and by defaults, uh, I mean, if, even if you just think about uh, something as pedestrian as you're, a, say, an instructional designer and you go to build a course and you're using an authoring tool, the, the architecture that's for building that, that's built into the authoring tool, is typically kind of a tree style, right? You have a chapter, you have subunits within the chapter, you bundle all the chapters together to make a course, right? And people don't realize that even that kind of default architecture is governing how you produce a learning experience, right? So until we start um, generating freer form architectures, um, let, let's stick with the learning example, in terms of how authoring tools can generate content, we won't have that kind of ability to... Um, uh, produce freer forms of content. It's it's kind of like, yeah, it took a while for everybody who was setting up their wireless router at home to understand that it was a really good idea to go in and turn on your security because the default setting was that security was off. So you had all these people who could access all these Wi-Fi points because no one turned their settings on. I think we don't appreciate enough what the default settings are for our organization and that we can go in and change them, but that we have to consciously go in and do it. 